we've been trying to do. And we've built what's now the largest conservation database for private sector engagement in the United States on the internet. Um, let's go ahead. Uh, so this is my core team. Um, all of us have a substantial private sector experience. The newest person is Alex Sarah, who I hired in uh, end of July. Uh, and she had been the regional vice president of Walmart for all of New England for the last six and a half years. And she's been a fantastic addition. You also met my son Amos. And then just last week, we hired a, um, a woman named Melissa O'Neill from Freddie Flaherty, one of the top three law firms in, in Maine. So here's the basic equation. I mean, this is what everybody has focused on for the last century or so. And this one is what everybody's ignoring. The 71% of the lower 48 states in private ownership. And the irony is that that's where all the ecological value is. Uh, whatever you want to come up as your determinant, whether it's wetlands, endangered species, biodiversity, I mean, in every case, it's overwhelmingly on private lands today. Even in the West, where, and you'll see a late, another slide, but in the West, where most states are 50, 60, 70 percent publicly owned, all the biodiversity is on private lands because that's where the water is. Go ahead. This is our product line. There are three national sites, 